Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Talk straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Transformers Animated Elite Guard Bumblebee. He's an Autobot, if you haven't figured it out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the package. Alright, here's the front. I don't know if you can make out that scene, Cybertron. I don't know, Transformers Animated. Easy. It says it's an advanced conversion, but it's relatively easy. It's a deluxe class Autobot, deluxe class, yada yada yada. Choking hazard, snap on rocket thruster, elite guard bumblebee. There he is from the animated. Also comes with this is the wave uh, TFCC. If you want to check that out, Let's see it was made back what in 08. Yep, there is good old elite guard bumblebee. I like the animated line. This one comes with the yellow head, that's the prototype. Mine comes with a black head. So if you want to also read the bio, there you go. Also, it would be cool if they released more Decepticons. I don't know why they come in a 1 to 3 ratio, but that's okay. Let's take a look at the figure. It rolls, has that little step on rocket thrusters, and it looks good, you know, for what it is. While I have this, you can see it has translucent windshields. Yeah, I swear I can make that out. And I, I wrought this. So, yeah, you, you can see right through that, uh, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, very nice. I like that. Also, the little rocket thrusters there. Kind of cool. So yeah, you got the back over here, really neat. It has a little gap over here where the license plate should be, but it's really for transformation, so it's not that bad. It rolls, like I said, nice little tiny clearance, but the clearance is just fine. I like the yellow paint apps on the wheels. The wheels are plastic though, oh well, rivets are not. See, so had the little elite guard, even though Bumblebee's not an elite guard and really, I don't know too much about the anime, so you're going to have to tell me about that. A uh, little paint app miscues on the front. What would you call that? Lights, the front lights, headlights. Uh, the grill over here could use a little bit more. Um, it's breaking up. I like the paint apps because it definitely breaks up the monotony of the black. And also showcases the Elite Guard colors. And at the same time, it hides the panel lines really nice. I mean, it's not that bad. Now you can see a little bit of the yellow on the top for the robot right here, so I could have hoped that they painted it a little better. But it's not bad. It has these little translucent parts, which isn't so bad. And uh, this little piece over here that falls off. So it has a little tiny gaps, but nothing horrible. Looks good. Uh, you can definitely see the robot head from underneath and the elite guard and the chest and everything from over here. So it's not bad. I mean, it's good. It is what it is. And it rolls well, fine enough. I mean... I, I like it. It's not bad. Let's give it an 8 out of 10. <laughs> you know, it's Bumblebee. What can I say? Transformation is fairly simple. Uh, it says 3 in the package, but really it's not. And that's good because it snaps the, the arms right off the bat. So the next thing we're going to know is just move the, as I remove the rocket thrusters and this little tab over here, it's in there tight. That's a really tight tab, so you have to separate it. So it separates really good, and that's really the first time that's ever happened. But that's okay, there's a little ball joint right here, and we can just snap that sucker right back on. And that's all right, so yeah, just like that. Yeah, I know. And it's good because you can see the mobility on that. Yeah, and we'll transform that later, and we'll see we'll, what else we got. Yep, legs go forward. Yeah, there we go. That forms his legs, so you kind of can make out what he's gonna do. I mean, it's a simple transformation. Open up these panels right here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Also, the package comes with instructions, so if you want to look at that, phew, go ahead. It's fairly simple. It's not G1 simple, but it's simple nonetheless. Rotate the waist 180 degrees, and you can kind of make out that he's already pretty much done. <laughs> you look at that. Okay, hands just flip out from underneath, and no notice that they have also have a stinger, which I will flip out just for y'all. And yeah, the panels in the back just. Pretty much, I just fold them like so, and that's it. Yeah, true. Complicated transformation, right? <laughs> yeah, don't believe what you hear. And of course, if you want to pop in the little thrusters, I don't think there's room for them. Oh yeah, they did make room right here in the back. How cool is that? Yep, just like that. There we go. So yeah, got kind of like a jetpack thing going. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah. So while I'm having him here, let's go with the, what do you call that? Articulation. Oh yeah, first thing I got to show you is the uh, cool looking light pipe and let's see if it lights up. Really, you know, there we go. 
Yeah, man, he's evil looking. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, play with it a little bit. Uh, it, the figure does leave a little bit to, leave, def, to uh, left to be desired, but that's all right. His shoulder is on a ball joint, but it's kind of weird. It's limited in what it is can do. It is a weird duck, double joint here. It's not a bicep swivel, but it can bend. So you got decent articulation, but the wrist, or sorry, the elbow doesn't swivel. Of course, the hand only swivels up and down. It looks like it could hold a weapon. It's molded in, so you, you got good detailing on there, but it's open fist, uh, open palms here. And of course, the Stinger missile, or Stinger, whatever that is, just clip it on here. So there you go. I mean, it's not that bad. It has a waist swivel, thankfully. And it's a upper, it's a weird upper waist swivel. It doesn't have this lower one. This is a fake one since it's like just painted on. It looks like it might, but it really doesn't. And it has the this weird clip over here that seems to fall off every once in a while. The neck is double jointed, so it's kind of neat. It rotates on a ball joint. There we go. Yep, looking good. That hip, and that, you already seen that that thing pops off. Single jointed knee. It swivels on whatever that is, and a weird looking ankle. I'm going to leave that off right here so y'all can see better. There we go. Not looking bad. Let's give him a size comparison. Here he is with Megatron, my boy. So he's definitely deluxe class. Uh, yeah, a little bit left to be desired, but not bad looking. What can I say? Yeah, I'll give him a. I'm fighting on this one. Six and a half. I'll give him a six and a half. He's slightly better. He's definitely more poseable, better looking in the alt mode than robot mode. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.